The rail yards near downtown have become a popular spot to have concerts, weddings, even school dances. But not everyone is excited about it. News 13's Lizay Mitri shows you what residents in that area say has got to stop. Lizay? Dean, neighbors say they can't escape the noise. And when loud music is rattling their windows, they say there's no one to call to take care of it. Extremely loud, pounding music. Neighbors like Mickey McConnell have had enough. <laughs> It's so brutally and senselessly loud. He lives near the rail yards, which the city has worked to revive, bringing beer festivals, concerts, weddings, and a regular farmer's market to the venue. It's a popular attraction. It's been great for the city. But the city is still trying to figure out how to address noise complaints. Collectively, we're getting there. I think it's part of the growing pains of a successful operation. So there's a very excessive base and it literally will rattle the windows. So if it's on a Saturday and you want to spend some time with your family, maybe outside doing something, you can't begin to do it. And you come in the house and you can't escape from it. The city says it's adjusted its times, cutting music off at 10. And a staff member at each event monitors noise levels with a decibel meter. And when they reach a certain threshold, they give the warnings. Now the mayor's office says it's working on a way neighbors can report noise complaints without tying up police or having to wait for 311. If we can provide a number for those neighborhoods to call more on a real time basis versus waiting for the 311 ticket to come around, you know, um, three days after the event, it, it would be um, it'd be more valuable. Either way, McConnell says the amplified music will still rip through the neighborhood, especially with all those missing windows at the rail yards. There's nothing you can do. You can not escape it. A wedding last month caused concern when the city says the DJ went rogue. He'd had some drinks and tried to continue playing after the city pulled the plug on the music. Police escorted him out, and the city says he will not be allowed to return. Back to you. All right, Lizay, thank you. The Rail Yards is only available for events from March to December. The city says it plans to meet with neighbors to discuss changes for next season.